Adolescence, as we know, is an in-between phase when you are neither an infant nor an adult. And adolescence brings with itself lots of different changes, both external changes and internal changes. The external changes include pimples, increase in height, voice cracks, so on and so forth. And the internal changes are the more important ones. They are subtle and quiet in nature. One such internal change that takes place during adolescence in girls and marks the reproductive maturity in girls is the onset of the menstrual cycle. Is the onset of the menstrual cycle. And in this video, we are going to learn all about the menstrual cycle. Now, what is the menstrual cycle? It's a natural monthly process. And during a certain phase, during a certain phase of this cycle, blood is discharged from the body. And this phase is called as menstruation or periods. And it lasts for about 3 to 7 days and occurs every 28 to 30 days. But anything in the range of 21 to 35 days is completely normal. Some girls might feel a little discomfort in their lower abdomen or a little abdominal pain during this time and that's quite normal too. But why does menstruation take place? Why does menstruation take place? You see, in girls, the body prepares for pregnancy every month. And how does it do so? By thickening the lining of the uterus. And this lining is supposed to nourish the growing baby. Okay, this lining is supposed to nourish the growing baby. But if there is no pregnancy, this lining is no longer required, right? This lining is no longer required. Therefore, it is shed. It is shed in the form of menstrual blood. Now, it is important to remember that pregnancy is a complex event, not just physically, but also emotionally. So even though the body starts preparing for it around the age of 11 or 12, the brain is not yet matured enough to handle it at that age. Now, while menstruation starts between the age of 10 to 12 years, it also comes to an end between the age of 45 to 55 years. And this is called as menopause. This is called as menopause. Now, talking about menstruation, here are a few simple things that you can do to take care of yourself during menstruation. Number one, you need to eat well and include fruits, vegetables and iron-rich foods in your diet. Secondly, you need to stay active. Do some light yoga or stretching. That can help ease the pain. Thirdly, rest when you need to. Your energy levels might feel a little different. And most importantly, maintain good hygiene and visit a doctor if you have too much of pain. These small habits can go a long way when it comes to taking care of yourself during menstruation. Now, while menstruation is a very natural process, there are some myths and taboos surrounding menstruation. And unfortunately, that has led to a lot of shame, silence and confusion around the matter. So it's important that we learn the science behind menstruation and then we challenge these myths and taboos. We challenge these myths and taboos and raise more awareness, raise more awareness surrounding the matter. Okay, raise more awareness surrounding the matter. Now it's time for a quick recap on the menstrual cycle. Okay, so as we know, the menstrual cycle is a natural monthly process that starts at the age of 10 to 12 years. Okay, and in the phase, in one of the phases of the menstrual cycle, blood is discharged from the body. And this phase is called as menstruation or periods. Okay, and this phase lasts for about three to seven days and it occurs every 28 to 30 days. 
although anything in the range of 21 to 35 days is considered normal. And some girls might feel some mild discomfort in the lower abdomen during this time and that's normal too. Now, when it comes to taking care of yourself during menstruation, you need to eat well, you need to do some light yoga or stretches, rest well, maintain good hygiene and definitely visit a doctor if you have a lot of pain. And finally, as we said, there are some myths and taboos surrounding menstruation and it's important that we learn the science behind menstruation to challenge these myths and taboos to challenge these myths and taboos.